Hey YouTube, my name is Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Moore and today I'm going to be doing a follow-up tutorial on the how to make your own programming language series that I did on YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial that I wanted to do the last time but because of recording issues I wasn't able to. And basically what that is, what I'm going to teach you today is how to test out your language and how to make programs with it. It's pretty simple. Basically if you haven't ran um, the project if you haven't compiled it with C sharp yet you need to go ahead and do so right now and once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and uh, wanna go to the file where you keep Visual Studio 2008 in my case it's gonna be in my documents when you get there go to projects choose your language go to its bin file debug and the first uh, the first icon that you see should be the .exe version and it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it over to oh, over to your desktop and I already have um, the language that I built in the tutorial series on my desktop so I'm not going to do that right now um, after that go ahead and open up a, any text editor of your choice really uh, I've got notepad and let's make a simple program. Let's make a simple um, hello world program with the new language. So the syntax that we made in part two, I think, is going to come in uh, here. Basically, we type in var, name it x. Let's, let's give it a value of zero. We're going to print out hello world. And then we're going to want to pause on the object or pause on the variable x and that would be a simple program it's only three lines compared to about nine lines for C++ so uh, it's pretty simple let's go ahead and go to file and save and I actually got a comment from a viewer asking how I would how they would um, create a file extension for their language and it's there's a bunch of different ways to do it. The easiest is just to, you know, think up a file extension. I'm going to name this one test.wc for the project name working compiler, and I'm going to save it under all files. So now I've got a test.wc file on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to the working compiler icon, and I'm going to build the project and we have a .exe version of the project here. So let's go ahead and open it up and there you go. You uh, We've just printed hello world with this which is our language. Okay guys thanks for watching and in the next part of the uh, tutorial, in the next follow-up tutorial at least, I'm going to show you how to fix some problems and make the language just a little bit better. And uh, actually, I'm going to show you a problem right now that we're going to fix in the next tutorial. Um, if I press enter to close the program, you'll notice that it fails. And that is due to an unhandled exception. And that's from C sharp. And we're going to learn how to fix that in the next tutorial. So, see you then.